so welcome back guys if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe like share and then hit the notification button to receive some cool content like this later in the future so let's get to it uh we're supposed to be baking now yes yeah, supposed to be baking now there's nothing else we're supposed to do apart from baking so and the immediate thing you need to bake is just the head okay just the head the other part we can just use default normal maps for this we should be fine so let's select the head scroll down to scroll down to um give him map set this at 4k resolution then let's make normal and displacement map for this so tangent space smooth normal smooth uv rather smooth uvs and then smooth normal this should be fine then let's create a normal map for this okay let's just hope we have good normal mass out of this we have good normal mass out of so i'll clone this go to our texture menu select this flip v export i'll just see exports create a new folder name to z maps we can base a normal png instead i always like to use png instead so let's go and check out that file check out that file I just hope we don't have any uh, weird baking artifacts in there. Okay. Fantastic. We get a really we get a really cool very good bake out of this. Very good bake. Yeah, yeah, this works this works just fine. So Let's big no let's big displacement map for this also. So I'll come in here to displacement map. I know what or should we should we bake 8k let's big 8k map for the normal map instead. So under UV map, drag this all the way up. Normal map, let's big 8k in here. So it's going pretty fast okay then clone map it should be okay 8k select this flip v exports uh let me just put 8k in front all right Displacement map, I'll just big 4K resolution for this. That should be just fine. 4K should work just fine. So, smooth V, flip V also. Smooth UV rather. It should be fine. You can use adaptive, but that will just take a crazy longer time to big. I think it should be fine. So, create an export map. So, I want to export that into z map so this will be our displacement map 16 bit is fine save this so it's going to ask us if we want to export out the split map we like to export the base mesh no let's go back in here let's see so i'll double click on this to open this up I believe this one exported out correct yes exported out correctly without any major issues in there yeah fantastic <clears throat> yeah this will work just fine <clears throat> okay I think that's that's pretty much it 
uh, that would be too much it i believe the quick save my the my eye texture I already have a map i already have an external map for that that i'm going to use i have an external map ready for that okay So let's see. So let's give this separate. Let's give this separate. Um, separate map. So we can just use let's put this out. And start our texturing process in Substance Painter. So let me open up Substance Painter. Right, so I think everything we need is already in here as it should be. If I need to make corrections to this, I can always go back and make corrections without any issues. Let's start with this. Favorite Lambert's Wukong Head Let me just underscore map Right, so I hide that Let's go to the outer eye Outer eye. Map. Hide that. Inner eye, map, okay, hide that, minis, close, map, Give that a separate color also. Hide that. These two would be but I will share the same UV space, so I can just give them the same material. Neck vest. Do I do I do I do I do I yeah yeah I think so. I think so. Okay. Let me select all of this and delete history in there. Give this a separate this is darker shade for this. All right, so save this. I'll select all of this. Sync. Then I would export this out. Put this back. Exporting this as an FBX file. Add design. Okay, spotted that out. Okay. Then let's bring this in.
is defined Let's bring. I don't know if I. I don't know if I need to bring in this. Let's bring in this placement map. This to open. I also need to bring in. I think. I'll need to bring in some other necessary maps. This for the high. This is for the eye texture. So I'm going to be using one for my previous projects. Think. Texture text XP textures. So it should be, I believe this one, this also. Let me just copy the five parts, copy these five parts. Hard. So this the color and the normal map. There's another map I need to bring in also. I think it should be here. Uh, Might not be completely necessary though. I vein. Open this up, paste this in here. I vein. Okay. Yeah, it looks camera looks weird, so let's go and fix the camera up. So focal length should be on. 85 85 millimeter okay close this uh let's solo isolate this so for the inner eye let's bring in the normal map in the inner eye inner eye inner eye normal map okay Right, so then the head model bringing the normal map in there. Okay, this is fine, yeah, that will work just fine. So let's first break out the map. I've got big big house models that have normal map with them, so I'll go back in here. Big put this at big at 2k resolution, turn off normal on that coverture. Let's use generate from normal map ambient occlusion, save occlusion, all this have same name, apply to all then turn off and with any that's that does not have external normal map with it. So the now has no external normal map and the and the head mesh is safe as external normal map. So let's break this maps first. Okay. Fantastic. So let's go back in here. Co selection. Let's just invert this. Then we'll bring this with a default normal map in the in there. So they're going to generate a normal map from the from the mesh itself. So under coverture, let's you generate from mesh. Okay, so um okay. Let's break. Awesome. So let's save this and make sure I save this out. Save this. Kong. Uh, just go in front and type SP so for substance painter. Save this. Alright, so to bring everything out now, we should be having something like this. 
in the next lesson we would go on and then start texturing this so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next lesson bye for now